From the very beginning, um, St. Margaret's has been a church that's focused on being a light in the lakeshore. Somebody said the heart of God is something that um, pulses outwards, and I think that's the heartbeat of St. Margaret's. Our regular community is quite small, but we have an enormous um, informal congregation, and I think again it's because of that heartbeat. We have um, supper for the, more or less the community. We get up to 120 people that come here on, for those meals. We have one cook here, Alan Oliver, who was um, given early retirement and he was a, a chef in one of the hotels in downtown Toronto and felt he needed something else to do and so he got the other men in the church involved and started cooking and so the kitchen is run by men, at least the cooking part of it is. The cleaning up is done by the women, but the men do the cooking. A lot of men don't have a chance to bond in that way or to have something social to do, um, but these guys do, and, and they become best friends, and, and, and they're there for each other, and they draw other men in as well. So without being a men's club and having to talk about theology, I mean, they're doers. They actually prepare the food that we love to eat, so that's great. About 25 to 30 men uh, stay, they get their laundry done, they get popcorn and movies, and then um, they leave with breakfast, they have breakfast and they leave with a lunch bag. We have somebody called Maisie who does the laundry and people can put their wash in little baskets and what Maisie does is so amazing is, you know, she washes it but she folds it all perfectly and lovingly and some of these guys have never had that since maybe maybe they've never had that but that someone would pay that kind of attention to their belongings and take something that was dirty and maybe filthy from being on the street and and give it back laundered and um, and so beautifully folded I mean there's a whole theology there isn't there you know, you think you're doing something for other people, but in the process of doing things for other people, you forget yourself, too. And I think that that is probably one of the most refreshing things in life. I believe that there's, there's still enormous hope for the church. As long as the church knows why it's a church, and it's not the buildings, it's the ministry, it's the heartbeat, and, and to, to be able to be the heartbeat of, of God in the world. Come check us out. Come visit us.